You came into the league in 2006 as a rookie, still with the same team. You've seen a lot of different head coaches. Uh, it's been quite a run. I'm sure you appreciate with the league full of change that you've managed to stay with the same team this long. Absolutely. Um, in fact, the first owners meeting I was at in 06 was right here at this hotel. And it's not until you, you take one of those coaches group photos or you're sitting in the, the main meeting room and then pretty soon you're looking around and that number of guys that you know very well uh, get smaller and uh, you know the continuity and the, the consistency and, and we don't take that for granted that the longevity of, of our program being able you know to stay in place and be successful Mickey Loomis and Mr. Benson have had a ton to do with that and we've tried to stay the course. We've tried to learn, you know, make uh, make adjustments and adapt to, to what's happening today in 2014, which is much different than uh, it was in 2006. But it just seems like it's gone by quick. How have you changed the most since 06? Is that hard to quantify at all? Well, I think it probably you take a little bit. You know, you you, you become more experienced as a head coach, and, and you're always kind of fighting that battle of still wanting to be involved. In, in every facet of your program and yet recognizing you've got to, uh, you know, let guys do their jobs. Um, I, think the, uh, I think the game has changed with, with some of the rule changes. Um, we're constantly paying attention to the discussions today with regards to potential new, new rule changes. Um, but there's been, there's been a lot of things that are different. And, um, you know, I don't feel any different. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just as excited about getting up and going to work and teaching. But when you have, for instance, this offseason where you're seeing your first draft class and a guy like Roman Harper or Will Smith, who was here prior to us arriving, players like Jabari Greer, Malcolm Jenkins, John Vilma, these are all Super Bowl players that um, are moving on to either other teams or other, uh, other areas of their life. That, that doesn't get easy. That, that's as difficult today more than ever before and when you have those players for that long especially. Uh, everybody wondered how you guys would handle the cap and then right off the bat you get Jarius Bird. What kind of impact is this guy going to have on the defense? Well I think this you know he's one of those players the ball finds him and he's got great ball skills. He's got great production be it in the passing game cause fumbles. Uh, he's very intelligent. You know his father was a great player in this league and he's he's certainly uh, earned that reputation himself. Uh, he was very impressive when we visited with him and you know, it was kind of a, at the end of the season you're looking at some needs maybe and it might have been at that time more of a wish list and Mickey did a great job, Ryan Pace, identifying you know, hey, if, if in fact Buffalo doesn't put a franchise tag on him, he's someone we'd like to have and Fortunately, we were able to make it happen. All right, well, listen, as always, I appreciate your time. Yep, thanks, Mike. All right, Sean Payton here in Orlando. Hard to believe entering his ninth season as New Orleans Saints head coach. Back to you guys in the Louisiana Cat Studios.